Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. You see it, let's get it. Threat actors are impersonating Chase Bank. The threat researchers at Airbox have come across two new phishing campaigns targeting customers of JP Morgan. Both attackers deploy social engineering and brand impersonation tactics in an attempt to steal customers' login credentials. So if you see some with a Chase Bank logo or or other um, Chase looking like uh, emails, double check them. They're probably fake people trying to get your money. While one of the scams involved, the email appeared to contain credit card statement, the other personation locked account workflow to falsely inform victims that their account had been blocked, locking, following a detection of unusual uh, activity. Airbox researchers said the first scam skipped spam filters because Microsoft determined that the email from a safe sender to a safe recipient and was from an email source server on an API allow list. So the uh, impersonator, the hacker, the bad actor actually had a good email address, good sender, so it got through all the filters. So obviously they're getting good and they're uh, really practicing this stuff. So once again, double check those emails before you uh, reply to them. Uh, the email contained HTML styling similar to the genuine email sent from Chase Bank, including links for the victim to see their statement and make payments. Victims who clicked the link would be taken to a web page resembling Chase Login Portal and asked to enter their banking account credentials. Attackers off, often banks on victims not paying enough attention to the inconsistency, inconsistency like the URL not being from the Chase domain, for example. So if you get an email and you think it's from Chase, don't click on actually um, URL on the email. Actually go to Chase Bank and do it. They assumed that because you had busy lives and overflowing inboxes, we would click on it before we think. Researchers found that the malicious website had been registered with the budget Arizona IT service management company named Silo, who provides hosting and email and SSL solutions. Services like this are beneficial for millions of people around the world, but unfortunately also lower the bar from cyber criminals looking to launch successful uh, phishing attacks. And the second is tax cyber criminals impersonating Chase Fraud Department with an email titled Urgent Unusual Signing Activities that looked like it had been sent from Chase Bank Customer Care. Inside the email was a malicious account verification link that victims was told to follow to restore their account. The researchers shared a useful tip for spotting the phishing attacks. They said the locked account impersonating the tag had different reply to and from addresses which is common from adversarial techniques employed in email attack. Once again, people are impersonating Chase Bank. Double check those emails. Threat actors are impersonating Chase Bank. Uh, Professor Black Ops, a cybersecurity for the people. Super short. Please subscribe.